Podcast. One of the main challenges as an amputee doing sports is to keep your skin in good shape. Um, especially with running, there's a lot of impact. Even with a running leg, there's still quite a lot of impact. And uh, if you run long distances, you're going to be dealing with sweat, impact, and these things can wreak havoc on your skin. And so I've, over the years, I've tried many different things to uh, keep my skin in good shape. And, um, and there's tons of products on the market too, but the things that I've found work best are, uh, I use Vaseline uh, lip therapy. It's, it's made for chapped lips. But I like it because it, uh, it lasts really well. It doesn't break down as quickly as other types of... Um, there's, there's certain things made specifically for um, amputees, and I find that that stuff doesn't work as well for me as this does. It also comes in a tiny tube, which I can run with. So I, if I have trouble spots developing, I can just stop, put on a tiny little bit of this, and that will hopefully get me through the run without a break in the skin. Often I'll do that just as a preventative thing before I run, um, and that's 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 my favorite product for taking care of that. If I'm doing a longer run or a long training day, or if I'm having some uh, sensitivity in certain spots in my skin, I use Tegaderm. These are uh, microscopically thin um, dressings that do not affect the fit at all. They're uh, completely clear. It's just, it's like having an extra layer of skin that uh, protects and it, it, it makes it so that the, the silicone liner does not pull the skin as much. It just pulls the plastic instead. And so it's, it really protects the skin well and it lasts for a couple of days. Uh, even if I go swimming, it'll stay on. So this is a fantastic protective product for amputees. Especially I use it on the back of my leg, around the tendons back here and on the patellar tendon um, and uh, often on the, I don't know what that is called, the fibula head or, uh, yeah, anyway, I use it there too and it's awesome for that, so that's really good. From time to time you will get a skin break um, despite all your best intentions and all the preventative uh, things you do. Sometimes it's a, a ingrown hair or um, sometimes it is from running. Uh, when, when that happens, my goal is to heal it as quickly as possible because it's very, very hard to heal inside of the liner. And so often I'll use Cicatrin, which is just a, it's a white powder, uh, medicinal powder that promotes healing. And it, uh, it, it dries out the, um, the skin break fast and allows the scab to form and um, just it, it, gets, it gets the break healed up a lot faster than otherwise. And if I put a little bit of Cicatrin on and then put a piece of uh, Tegaderm over top, I find that um, I'm able to function without any pain from the skin break and it heals at the same time, which is uh, something that it took me forever to figure that out, but um, I'm so glad I did because otherwise you have to actually take your leg off and wait for it to heal, which is painfully boring and slow. I sometimes use a product called Drysol which is a prescription strength uh, antiperspirant uh, and therefore it's extremely chemically hardcore. Um, not good for you I wouldn't say but it does limit the amount of sweat that collects inside your liner. It almost feels like your liner is glued on which is a nice feeling for uh, suspension but and it's great at a race, for like a race day when you really don't want to be dealing with it. Day to day I would never use it because it's um, I just suspect that it's really bad for me. For the first four or five years that I was an amputee, I would always have the, the Caucasian foot shell, which is kind of a pinkish uh, white, much like myself. And um, the problem with it is that as, as it breaks down and wears down, um, it discolors to kind of, it, gives, it gets this gray color and in between the toes it gets all gray and black. And, and then it looks really quite disgusting. So. About four or five years ago, I asked my prosthetist um, if I could get a, uh, a, a black foot shell. And he, and because they're in the States, he said, you mean an African-American foot shell? And I said, yes. And, uh, and so he thought I was crazy, but I wanted it. And ever since then, I've always got the uh, African-American foot shell, which does not discolor nearly so badly and hides the darker problems. So 
That, that's why it's that color. It's not exactly a good match for my skin.